If you've noticed large amounts of defoliation in your trees, shrubs, or ornamentals, you might be able to blame the sawfly. Despite the name, sawflies are more closely related to wasps and bees. They're named for the saw-like ovipositors the females use to slice open leaf or stem tissue to lay their eggs inside. Once the larvae hatch, they can devour massive amounts of leaves, possibly killing the plant. Some species can even infest turf grass, creating large, visible patches of dead grass in your lawn. So in this video, we'll go over how to identify and get rid of sawflies on your property so you can keep your plants and grass safe throughout the season. To shop for the products featured in this video and to learn more about sawflies, click the icon in the top right of the screen or click the link in the description below. The first thing you should do in any pest control plan is identify what exactly you're dealing with. Careless identification can lead to wrong treatment methods, costing you time and money. There are thousands of different species of sawfly around the world, and they each have a unique appearance from when they hatch as larvae to when they pupate into adults. Though each species looks different, most generally resemble flies and wasps. Adult sawflies will have two pairs of wings, whereas flies only have one pair, and adult sawflies have thick waists, whereas wasps have thin waists. Also, sawflies lack stingers, unlike female wasps. Despite being closely related to wasps and bees, the larvae resemble butterfly and moth caterpillars. But there are ways to tell a sawfly larva from a caterpillar. In general, most sawfly larvae have smooth bodies, whereas caterpillars can appear to be either smooth, hairy, or spiny. Some sawfly larvae are even slimy and translucent, and are referred to as slugs. Additionally, sawfly larvae will always have six or more pairs of prolegs. Caterpillars will only have five or fewer pairs of prolegs. Finally, sawfly larvae will exhibit a unique behavior that when feeding in groups and threatened, they'll raise their tail ends as if to sting, even though they lack stingers. Inspection is the next phase of any good pest control plan. Once you know what your pests look like, check around your property to confirm their presence or find hotspots of activity. If you've spotted foliar damage among any trees, shrubs, ornamental plants, or even in turf grass, then closely examine affected plants for signs of sawfly activity. Look for feeding patterns or the sawflies themselves. The larvae of many species will consume chunks out of the edges of leaves, similar to how you'd expect a caterpillar to eat. Some species that have slug-like larvae will feed on plant tissue in between leaf veins. Larvae that hatch from conifer trees will feed on the tree needles. Adult sawflies typically emerge from spring to summer, but they can actually be difficult to spot since they only live for about one week as they mate and lay eggs. The presence of dead sawflies around your property can indicate future pest activity for the next season. If you time your inspection before larvae hatch, you can spot eggs laid into the stems of some plants. Some species lay their eggs in the leaves of their hosts, forming galls or round growths. After identifying your pest and inspecting for activity on your property, it's time to start treatment. Before starting any treatment, be sure to wear your personal protective equipment or PPE, and remember to keep all people and pets off the treated areas until dry. Treatment is most effective when the larvae are young and less than halfway through their life cycles. Avoid treating too late when the larvae are close to maturing into adults, since by then the damage is already done. To treat sawfly larvae, you'll need to use a systemic insecticide like Dominion 2L. Dominion 2L is a neonicotinoid that contains imidacloprid and will need to be mixed with water before application. This product can be applied either as a foliar treatment or as a soil drench to treat sawfly larvae. We recommend you use a handheld pump sprayer for low volume applications or a hose end sprayer for high volume applications. If you're going to apply Dominion 2L as a foliar treatment, output the labeled rate of 1.5 fluid ounces of product per 100 gallons of water. If you're going to apply Dominion 2L as a soil drench around trees, apply 0.1 to 0.4 fluid ounces of product per inch of the trunk's diameter. Apply the solution uniformly around the base of the tree, especially over the roots, in no less than 10 gallons of water per 1,000 square feet. As a soil drench for shrubs, you'll apply 0.1 to 0.2 fluid ounces of product per foot of the shrub's height. Over flowers, ground cover, and turf, apply 0.46 to 0.6 fluid ounces per 1,000 square feet of treatment area. After this application, water the product in. Once the product has been applied, it will absorb into the plants through the leaves or roots. Labeled pests that attempt to feed off treated plants will be poisoned and will die after approximately 24 hours. 
Prevention is essential to keeping pests in check. Even after you've applied pesticides, the best way to stop pest activity is to make sure it can't happen. Early spring, if you're expecting sawfly activity for the season, till the soil around suspected host plants. Many sawfly species overwinter by falling to the ground and burrowing as pre-pupa. Some species overwinter as larvae, and some even overwinter as eggs. By digging the soil around suspected host plants, you can destroy some pests before they're able to mature into adults. From spring through summer, regular watering once a week over and under your host plant's foliage can wash away eggs or even stop breeding activity altogether. You can also boost your plant's health and make it stronger. Healthier plants are more capable of resisting and recovering from pest damage. If an infestation breaks out, prune away afflicted parts to prevent the pests from spreading. Finally, keep up with the regular pesticide treatment schedule. When properly applied, Dominion 2L will last for up to 90 days, so you should apply quarterly for year-round control. Sawfly infestations can quickly devour entire plants, but there are ways to control an infestation that's gone out of hand. With these professional products and tips from Solutions Pest and Lawn, you can stop sawflies from infesting your property, and we offer free shipping to help you get control quickly. Visit our website to get your products today. If you like this how-to guide, please share, and if you're new to our channel, subscribe for more how-to and product videos. And contact us for more tips, tricks, and DIY pest solutions.